approach at eight under. Robert Garrigus, his second at nine. Trying to take advantage of one of his spot starts this year. It's on the uphill par four, number nine, and well done. This was Vince Whaley for birdie at seven. You have to take advantage of the par fives here at Port Royal. Wow. And Vince does just that. There's only three of them, so he... Dylan Wu also eight under. They're all chasing this guy, Alex Noren, his second at the sixth. Yeah. Another uphill approach shot. Cannot see where that ball ends up, but you know what, Alex? It's pretty good. <laughs> he would like it. This is second to give him a chance at a, to tie the course record. And why not finish it strong like Alex does right there? Almost makes a two. He'll tap that in for 61 there. Also an eight under. How about Dylan Wu, his second at the 18th? Finish up his round at the 18th. Another uphill shot. Front left hole location. Doesn't need to use any slope. From just off the fairway, 443 yard par four. More so far today. Went out in three under 33. Nicely played underneath the hole lines and be very aggressive. All right, we got to pay this one off at the 11th. Ryan Moore, what you want to see if you're a righty. Nice right to left uphill birdie putt. Tied, Brendan Todd with this uphill approach. Yeah, just 115. His wedge game. Look for this one to be close. Yeah, one of the better wedge players on tour. And see how he controls that spin. Keeps it underneath the hole there, Trip, and beautiful shot. Brendan Todd to close out his front nine. This to get it to five under. Well, this is about as easy as you can get, George. Just up that hill, a little right to lefter, and Five under outgoing. Really good amateur college player. One on the PGA Tour. Scott second at the 11th. 105 plays about 10 down to a front hole location. Uh, that's marvelous. West of Scottsdale there at Isleworth. And we, we talked a lot. I said you just have to be committed to the PGA Tour champions and you'll do really well. Front right hole location here for Ryan. Down. You would expect Ryan Moore with a wedge in his hands by Ryan Moore. This now for birdie to get to five under. Yes, Ryan. Ryan Moore, the U.S. Amateur champ. We've got a few of those guys in this field this Hanging week. around. Uh, we heard Trip say this is a good birdie look for Brendan Todd uphill. Guy can seemingly make everything when he gets hot. Uh, and there we go, safe. another one for B. Todd. Now inside the top 10 at six under par. I think this is in these little spot to finish. Yeah, I was just gonna say, I think he, this is an important shot for him. He's left a couple slip away. He's made a couple bogeys on par threes and absolutely judges that. Yeah, he shouldn't miss this one, not much in it. And he doesn't, he's got it to three under. Five under on his front nine. Saw so that whole location in that okay, right nine. front corner. We head back to the 14th. Brendan Todd has this for birdie. And he rolls that in to get to seven under, tying Brian Gay right now. And this is the distance that Adam Scott is one of the best on tour. Yeah, slow putt into the green, though. And just like that, and Scott delivers. Yeah, didn't get the hometown start. Smotherman from across the 13th green. He's at five under. And he needs a good week. You saw his name at 130 on that bubble. Coming off that short miss back there at 17 or 16 for par. That's a good-looking one here, John. He asked it for it to be yeah, good, nice, and nice. it sure is. Three feet behind the hole, right on line. Great look at Eagle. Going down to Australia and get this, this iron game worked out. This was a glorious iron shot and a brilliant three. Oh, but that Eagle from Adam Scott now at five under. Most of them have just been playing the, the number. Beautifully controlled swing, kind of soft arm oh. shot, no spin. Beautiful. Yeah, he was two under standing on the 14th tee and a chance to shoot 65. Impressive finish. He missed a few of those, so 
shooting six under par.